What's up, man? You know what's the vibes, man. It's a great call. You now tuned in with Shallow Entertainment. Yeah. Smoking gelato in the back of the suburb. I got him nervous. Inhaling a whole lot of Kimbo to smoking her face on purpose. She give me fish, she got me learning. I pop a perk, I'm feeling nervous. She wanna fuck up with her parents. It ain't that money I can hear. She on my body like a piercing. I broke her heart, I got her tearing. Purple flowers. We smoking, kicking up the sour. All right, I got great color, pretty like cool. What's up, bro? How you feeling today? Yeah, I'm feeling great, you know what I'm saying? I'm better. Right. I'm getting better, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you get better. You've been putting in a lot of work, a lot of work. You made a lot of progress since our first interview. But how you been making, how you been passing time during this pandemic? Music. Just focus, locked in. Getting that pain, you know what I'm saying? Putting that pain in. I ain't got my foot on these niggas nice. I ain't letting up. Yeah, man. All right, so let's get into the full story. Let's do it. Let's let these people know about Great God. Uh, where was you born and raised? You know what I'm saying? Staten Island, New York. Know the vibe, man. Shallon. You know what I'm saying? You know what's up. You know what's up. Uh, you, I remember you you referred to where you stay at as Baghdad before? That's a fact. Baghdad, Iraq, man. Shit is like a battlefield, you know what I'm saying? I went to survive. When you was coming up, you had your mother and, and your father, or what? Nah, just my mom, you know what I'm saying? She played both parts, so, you know what I'm saying? She the mommy and daddy, niggas know what's up. How was that like, having a, a single mother coming up? I mean, sometimes, you know, it was rough, you know, hard. Mom raising two kids, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes it was hard, but she, she number one. She, she got it done, you know what I'm saying? So she made things feel like it was easy. You know? Facts, facts. Shout out mama. And um, for people who never been in Staten Island, you can let them know how it was like coming up in Staten Island. Yeah, it's how it like. People, a lot of people look at Staten Island like it's, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just regular, but to be honest, you come out here, you know what I'm saying? This shit really different, bro. It's a lot of regular shit that happened out here. I ain't gonna speak too much, but if you from here, then you know the vibes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna take this shit sweet or light. Big facts, big facts. So since I moved out here, I saw a whole nother, a whole nother face. I mean, I'm not originally from Charlotte. I, mean, mm -hmm. I came out here from, from uh, Brooklyn, so. Right. We, we hear that it's like roses and unicorns, but when I came out here, they showed me a whole different face, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's a real small state, I mean, real small borough, everybody know everybody. Right, right, it's a fact. I um, don't know who you gonna see. What was, uh, you got any crazy experiences coming up in Staten Island? You can let these people know, but like, <laughs> I don't really go. A few crazy things, man, you know what I'm saying, but. I think the worst that I've probably ever been through was going to jail, you know what I'm saying? For my niggas coming up, man, do the best you can to avoid the system, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, niggas that have you trapped forever, you know what I'm saying? I'm still fighting shit, I ain't gonna speak on that too much either, right. but still a lot of shit going on, man. Try to stay out the system as best you can. So, what was your biggest lesson coming up out here? Learning who to trust. Definitely learning who to trust, man. I know who to be around, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody ain't for you. You gotta know who really there for you, who really for you, you know what I'm saying? Like, definitely. Uh, definitely gotta keep yourself a small and keep your head on the swivel. That's a your neck out here. Yeah, so, so far, what do you think the hardest challenge you've had to face throughout life has been? Do you think it was the jail time? Man, yeah, about the, definitely me going to jail and my brother going to jail too, you know what I'm saying? My mom got like both of her kids in jail at one point, and I know that shit was a hard and a struggle for her too, you know what I'm saying? Like, but here yeah, now, nah, you know what I'm saying? I don't plan on going back no time soon, man. All right, God, so. Through, through the grace of God. Word. It sounds like, it looks like you got a way, uh, you got a clear look in your eyes this time around. Definitely, definitely. So let's get into the, let's get into the music. What motivated you to start making music? Ah, uh, man, I honestly, I had two friends that really motivated me, but my son Nato was the one who really pushed me, you know what I'm saying? It really, once he showed me the way, I just never looked back, you know what I'm saying? I always had a, I always kind of had an ear for music. I wasn't big on music growing up, but right. at a point in time, I kind of got real big on it once I was introduced to making music, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. the process and how everything is, kind of fell in love with it, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> So, who who would be the second person? My son Zo Pesci. Shout out, bro. I saw some of my video, man. She's my she's my video, you know what I'm saying? Cameraman. So, 
Definitely shout out, bro. All right. Um, what is your biggest inspiration for making it? For making the music that you make? Definitely my family, you know what I'm saying? The people I'm around. Definitely, you know what I'm saying? My son, Suicide. You know what's up, man? That's my biggest motivation right now. You know what I'm saying? RP, bro. For him, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna make it count. You know what I'm yeah, we noticed that uh, in like all your posts, you got Long Live Suicide, LLK2, 2S. Two, uh, two, two um, you you want to tell the people about who Suicide was and that situation? Energy. Energy was a person. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely him. My boy brought the energy to the room, you know what I'm saying? But light to the people's lives, you know what I'm saying? Make you smile. A real nigga too, you know what I'm saying? Really loyal. Showed me a lot, you know what I'm saying? So, as long as I'm living, bro, gonna look to me, you feel me? Uh, can you let us know how you pass? I don't even like talking on that shit too much, but right. you know what I'm saying? The streets is crazy, you know what I'm saying? When you jump in the streets, you know what you sign up for, so. Keep right. your head on the swivel, you know what I'm saying? Like, just pay attention at all times. So, what's it like grinding as an independent artist? Like, what's the most difficult part about it? Most difficult part about it is probably the support. You gotta really be heavy on supporting yourself, you know what I'm saying? You can't let certain shit get to you. You gotta be mentally ready for the, you know what I'm saying? Cause it'll be times where you feel like you want to give up. You know what I'm saying? I had times where I felt like I wanted to give up, but it's all about self, you know what I'm saying? So always keep motivating yourself. Self-motivation is a big part of this. Don't ever feel like you want to give up. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it either because that's just niggas that feel like until you make it, then they'll see, you feel what I'm saying? Facts. They say that they say that there's um a such thing as sometimes uh just in case friends. Right. Uh, that they friends just in case you make it. That's a fact. You believe in that? Yeah, that's true. Definitely true. There's people there that you know they look at you like a dollar sign, you know what I'm saying? You feel like if they're around you or do certain things, but sometimes here and there and then you make it, they feel like because they did that and that sometimes that you gotta give, you know what I'm saying? Right. But don't let that, it, you'll know who your real friends is as time progresses and shit, you know what I'm saying? From when you start to when you get where you at. Everything, uh, like I just read a post of my son Cowboy, he said some shit. Mm. It's like leaves falling off a tree, you know what I'm saying? Some leaves stay and some leaves go. And those leaves that stay, you're gonna see that's your real friends, you know, real people that support you. Facts, throughout the seasons, the one that stick around, you That's a fact, word. There's the nice times and the bad times. So, who are some of your biggest musical influences? Because I'll be listening to your music, the way you the way you punch in. Right. <laughs> Hold up, before we get into your biggest musical influences, tell these people about your music making process, yeah. Because last time, I was in here yesterday in the studio with you, you made a song in 10 minutes. <laughs> you and Kennedy made a song in two, 10 minutes, bro. And yeah, had it yeah, mixed exactly. in like 15, 18 minutes, it was done. It's definitely the focus. Focus is a big part. But punching in every bar, that's something when I came home from jail, I told myself that I'm gonna just do things differently this time, you know what I'm saying? Going straight through, you make mistakes, you little mistakes here, little fuck ups there. And you punch in, you know, everything you wanna do, everything you wanna say right then and there, you know what I'm saying? So. Definitely punching in was one of the biggest things I'm saying. Like, you think I, the you think the chemistry has a lot to do with it too? Because definitely. You've, you've been messing with the same producers for definitely. years, definitely. For, for years. Nah, yeah, like I said, it's, it's points in times where you feel like you want to give up, and I was at that point in time where I feel like I wanted to give up, but they showed me so much love and motivated me so much. You know what I'm saying? That it helped me motivate myself. So definitely find the right people for you. Do you think you've made your best song yet? Nah, nah. Every time I make a new song, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's my best. Mm. So I don't feel like I got to my best yet. There's a lot of shit in the catalog, don't be confused. Yeah we, yeah, we saw it just over here, like behind closed doors. He had like over 60 unreleased songs, so like, that's crazy. You don't work stop yet, you know what I'm saying? It's that work. Work ethic is a big part too of this shit, you know what I'm saying? You gotta really be able to 
You gotta really be able and willing to put that work in, you know what I'm saying? You gotta treat this shit like a job, and then, or reality, it is, you know what I'm saying? You, know, you start getting paid behind it, so you, that's like a nine to five. You gotta put that work in, and that work really, hard work pays off. What's the most impactful project to you today that you released? Uh, the Sad Life Mixtape, SRT Life. I think that's really one of my best projects that I put out so far with this rap shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, as a whole, definitely. I got something coming for y'all too. This one might be better than the last. Trust me, it is, matter of fact. And what about if you could, you think you could limit it down to one song? As a far as right now? Yeah. Hmm. I know it's hard for us. It's like they all your babies. Yeah, right, you heard I know, yeah. But probably Bank Talk though. Bank Talk right. was what, you know what I'm saying, what really got that attention put on me, you know what I'm saying? That's the first song that I, I made by myself, you know what I'm saying? Nobody on it, just me. And I hit 110K, so that's probably my best, my, my biggest right now. My number yeah, one. Congrats on 110K, bro. Like, definitely, definitely appreciate you, brother. Yeah, like you're doing your thing, man. Like, we'd love to see it. We'd love to see another artist doing that thing. So, um, biggest music influences? Uh, DMX for sure. Uh, DMX. DMX, definitely. I ain't gonna front seeing him rap and the way he did it and the things he would say was like definitely big on me. Like, he kind of inspired me in a way, too. But as far as right now, you know what I'm saying? Um, baby, little baby, um, 42, too. 42, definitely. That's one of the, you know what I'm saying? Um, right, yeah, I can see a little bit of that. I can see a little bit of that. Too, right, yeah, you definitely got a little inspiration on me too. Um, little young nigga getting it. You feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying. And let me see. I remember the last time we talked to you, was talking a little bit about G Herbo too. Nah, definitely G Herbo too. Um, I remember when G Herbo kind of like first came out. Him being so young as well, you heard and. Being in the streets and it's kind of like the same situations I be going through. Yeah. It was definitely a big inspiration on me, you know what I'm saying? So shout out G Herbo. All right. So we heard that you stopped smoking recently, bro. So you're not smoking anymore? What's that like? I was oh, like, yeah, I ain't smoking no marijuana right now, you know what I'm saying? Get my weight up, you know what I'm saying? Get my, my mind right, my body right. How's it feel? Do you feel mentally more clearer? Like Definitely, definitely. How's I feel you? more, yeah. Back, what what, what feel, differences do you feel? I feel like I feel more aware, and hmm, I ain't gonna like marijuana. Really got a big. It plays a big part in your appetite too. So don't don't let people say that it don't. Cause you feel me. Some people feel like they gotta smoke before they eat yeah. or shit like that. But nah, I just feel like I'm more healthier than what I was before when I was smoking weed. Like my lungs and breathing and yeah. like you know what I'm saying. I don't be like. You just you just feel different. You know what I'm saying? Like you have more energy. Mm -hmm, definitely. And um, I was gonna ask you if you call me, ask you what's a, uh, are you, how's it feel to be a father now? Oh man, it is. It's wonderful, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. It's wonderful. I mean, at times it can be a little rough. It can be hard. You know what I'm saying? Having a kid is really, especially at a young age, it's, it's difficult. It's like a learning process. You learn as you go along, but. It's a blessing, super blessing. You have a son or a daughter? I have a daughter. How has it changed your mindset? How has it changed you as a, as a person? It changed my mind a lot. Changed how I look at females and changed like certain things that I do, you know what I'm saying? I, you gotta care certain things that you can't do around your, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be mindful. So it definitely opens up your mind, certain things, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, um, I was gonna ask you, like, getting more into the person that you are, because these are some issues that are uh, under, like, uh, not uh, not, a, not enough attention is paid enough to these issues. Right. Do, you, do you deal with um, depression or anxiety? Definitely, definitely. Anxiety, depression, PTSD. PTSD is real. I never let nobody tell you it's not. That's a real thing, you know what I'm saying? I understand the terminology when people say they be fighting demons. It's really a mind battle, you know what I'm saying? It's just 
you gotta find things that can help you cope with that. You gotta like reading video games. And definitely music helps me a lot. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I could I could express myself a lot through my music because I'm not I'm not big on talking to people about my problems. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I feel like the music definitely helps me with that. All right. Um. And as far as uh, death, are you scared of dying? Guns? No, dying. Of dying? Yeah. I mean, dying young. I feel like I'm scared of that. Because I figure that maybe now that you have a, a child, you got more to right. live for. That's a fact. Definitely got more to live for. So I take life as a blessing now. You know what I'm saying? Especially losing my cousin. Yeah. really opened my eyes. Life is really a blessing. It can end so fast and so abrupt. And not only hurting, you know what I'm saying, yourself, but everyone around you. Seeing what everyone, you know, family and stuff going through, friends, definitely opens your mind, you know what I'm saying? So, again, just be mindful. Keep your head up in the streets. Go in the streets. So, currently, what's your goal in life and what's your goal in music? My goal in life right now is bettering myself and putting myself in a better position than what I am and those around me. And as far as music, I got a couple goals. I try to I try to set a couple goals. And one of my first goals is hundred thousand. Like I want to see a hundred thousand dollars to break down with my family, my friends. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like stuff like that. I, 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 yeah, you feel what I'm saying? I really come from nothing. Yeah. So. I watched a video with Mayweather too. He said his first hundred thousand was better than his first million, and I feel like I understand what he's saying. Coming from where you, where I come from, it's like you don't really see that much money at one time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So right. definitely, that's one of my one. That's one of my first goals, and provide a better daughter, provide a better life for my daughter. Upon me, yeah. Definitely, that's why I don't want her to go through the same things that I had to go through or see the things that I had to see, you know what I'm saying? And I want to make it to show my grandmother I got something to prove to her. Like she's definitely one of my biggest inspirations. I feel like I got something, I got so much to prove to her, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of love for grandma? Yeah, yeah. She, she, she number one, you know what I'm saying? When my mom, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, growing up with my mom's having two kids, mm -hmm. single parent, my grandmother was definitely Definitely the one, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Right, shout out to Grandma. Well, big shout out to her. No, I love you, Grips. <laughs> so, um, any advice to other upcoming artists in your position? Definitely. Again, never give up. Never give up. Just because it's not working today doesn't mean it's not going to work tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Got to look at everything like a blessing. God gave you a talent for a reason. Not everybody's a rapper. Or everybody could be a rapper or put things together a certain way. You know what I'm saying? It's not just about rapping either. You know what I'm saying? It's about image and every, you got to be the, you got to be for this. You know what I'm saying? It's, like I said again, it's like a job. You really got to be for this. You got to really be in tune. Find something you love and, and do that no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. So... Anything you would like to plug in, let the world know, any upcoming projects you want to look, um, you want to let us know to look out for? Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, first and foremost, my pain is yours. Two shot edition is coming out this June, so make sure y'all pay attention. It's gonna be a big project. You know what I'm saying? Not too many features. You basically gonna hear me a lot, so I know the fans is ready. And just drop the video too. Get to it while out now, and it's on all streaming sites, of course. Mm -hmm. And I just dropped another video before that, Reggie Miller. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So, he definitely going crazy. Look out for those and make sure y'all watch out for the My Pain Is Yours Two Shot Edition project coming this June. Tap in. Yeah, long fucking live two shot, you know? That's a fight. I'll too. They know what's up. It's a great card. You already know we locked them for life. We're part of the Shaolin family, bro. That's a fight. Thank you for this interview. I'm happy to have you here. And I really know the next time that I see you, you're going to be in a way better position than you were this time, bro. Elevation. That's the key. Alright, bro. So next time. Alright, buddy. Smoking gelato in the back of the suburb. I got him nervous. Inhaling a whole lot of Kimbo. The smoking her face on purpose. She give me fish. She got me learning. I pop a perk. I'm feeling nervous. She wanna fuck up off her parents. It ain't that money I can hear. She on my body like a piercing. I broke her heart. I got her tearing. Purple.
flowers. We smoking, kicking up the sour. I could dive up, be a bitch like I'm a flounder. Uh.